Hey everyone, welcome to TubeTape.com's green screen tutorial for HitFilm Ultimate. Today we're going to show you the basics of chroma key in HitFilm and give you some tips on how to make your foreground video match your background so it looks believable. So uh, let's get started. First thing to do is start a new project. If you know the properties of your video, you can set it here. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, HitFilm will set them automatically when you drop your footage into the timeline. Click uh, Start Editing. First thing we need to do is import some footage. So I'll click on the Import button. Now I'll go to my Clips folder and grab this shot here. Next I'll go to my Graphics folder and import this Virtual Space Station image for my background. Now that we have our two files imported, I'll click on my video, which brings it up in this window at the top. I want to trim this clip and just use a few seconds of her turning and looking around. If you look on this little marker here, you can drag it to a spot you like and then hit the I key to set the in point. So now, uh, this is where the video will start. Next, I will drag the marker till I find a good spot for the end, say um, here, and then hit the O key to set the out point. Now I just need to drag it down uh, to the timeline. Now that we have the video on the timeline, we need to create a composite shot so we can do our keying. Right click on the clip and select Make Composite Shot. You can name it whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to name it Green Screen. You can leave these two settings as is and click Convert. This uh, creates a new tab named Green Screen. Now that it's been converted, we'll be working with layers instead of video and audio like in the editor. Let's take the background image and drop it underneath our video layer. Uh, as you can see, nothing happens because the video layer is covering the background layer. In order to change that, we need to remove the green screen from the shot. In this window here, make sure the Effects tab is selected, then go down to Presets, Tools, green screen key ultimate and drag that to your video layer. It's already done a pretty decent job of removing the green um, and revealing the background layer underneath. However, you almost always have to make some adjustments to get the key perfect. Make sure your video layer is selected, then click on the controls tab in the left window. Under effects, you'll see three items listed. Making adjustments here will let you refine your key. Under Color Difference Key, I'm going to select View Matte. As you can see, it changes the image. Uh, the black represents what's being keyed out, and the white is the area that stays visible. Our actor has a few gray spots on her, which means those parts are somewhat transparent. When she's completely white, it means you will not be able to see through her, which is exactly what we want. The idea is to adjust these sliders to find the right balance. So just make your adjustments until you get it as close to perfect as you can. Now under the matte cleaner option, we will add a small 0.5 to the choke setting. This will remove a few pixels around the actor, uh, cleaning up the edges a little bit. Remember, when you light your green screen and actor correctly, uh, the software will do a much better job keying out the green and you won't have to spend as much time tweaking the settings. You can see our green screen is keyed out nicely, but we can still see the lights a camera and the boom operator in the shot. When we draw a mask around an actor or an object, uh, the area inside the mask will be kept and everything outside the mask will be discarded. I'm going to select the free hand mask tool and draw a quick mask around our actor. She doesn't move too much in this shot, so I can draw the mask uh, fairly tight around her. And there we go. I'll scrub through this and make sure she doesn't move outside the mask, make a few adjustments, and that looks good. So now our key looks good, but she still doesn't really look like she's part of the background, and uh, this is the most challenging part of working with chroma key, making your foreground and background look like one scene. Remember, the best special effects are the ones the audience never notice, and that's what we want to accomplish here. So there are a few things we can do to make her look like she's just, you know, in the scene. First off, let's readjust her size and position. Make sure her layer is selected and open up the transform setting in the controls tab. I'll scale her down a bit 
and then move her over here. And that's a good start. And so you see already this is looking a, a little more natural. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to give her a shadow. This can really help sell that she's part of the virtual world. Uh, the first step is to make a duplicate of our scientist by selecting her layer and hitting Control D. Now we have two of her. So we want to turn our duplicate into a 3D layer so we can rotate her around in 3D space. Click on the icon here and choose 3D Plane and then click Yes. Now in the Effects tab, select the Color folder and drag and drop the Exposure tool onto our duplicate. In the Controls tab, open up the Exposure setting and turn it all the way down. Next, let's open up Transform Settings and change the first number under the Orientation setting. This will make the shadow look flat, and if we move it down, it looks like it's on the ground. Let's change the Z rotation, so uh, it's at a bit of an angle, and position it in the right place. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. Next, turn the opacity down a bit so it doesn't look quite so dark. 50% um, looks about right. Finally, um, I'll add a blur effect to the shadow and set the radius to around 35. There. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, as you can see, when you scrub through the timeline, her shadow moves with her as well. Another important way to blend your shots together is by color grading your footage. So I'm going to go to the Effects tab, and under the Color folder is the Levels Histogram Effects. I'll drag that onto our clip and then open that up in the Controls tab. The arrow on the left will affect the brightness of the shadows. The one on the right adjusts the highlights, and the middle arrow adjusts the midtones. I want to darken the image a bit, so I'm going to move the shadow adjustment to the right a bit, and the midtones to the right as well. I think I'll apply the same effect to our background image and just darken it up a little too. And that, look, that looks pretty good. Our background image has an alpha channel, which means this black area here is keyed out like our green screen footage. So if we place something behind it, it'll show through. HitFilm Ultimate has some very cool particle presets built in. In the Effects tab, go to Presets, 3D Effects, Particle Simulator, and I'm going to choose the Aurora Borealis effect and place that under my other layers. That looks a lot better than just blank black space. Um, now I want to fill in this little area down here, so I'm going to duplicate the layer. Uh, rotate it on the x-axis so it's facing the opposite direction, uh, and then move it down. That just gives us some, some cool movement in the background. The final touch I'm going to add is a look to the entire scene. I'm going to create a new grade layer by right-clicking in the blank area and selecting Grade Layer. Make sure the top layer is selected so it affects all the, the other layers below it. HitFilm Ultimate has some nice presets called Film Looks. Uh, you can also really easily make your own presets by, by using the color tools. I'm going to choose the Matrix Wash look, and uh, I'll drag that to the grade layer. This gives the entire scene that greenish matrix look. What's really cool about the grade layer is that under the Control tab, you can change its opacity level. The matrix look is cool, but I, I want to I be a little more subtle, so under Transform, I will turn the opacity down to about 70%. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, here you can see you can see what it looks like before and after. So that's the end of our HitFilm green screen tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out. Uh, if you'd like to see more tutorials, you can find them at tubetape.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.